thundery rain could cause a bit of an issue for some of us this weekend. Thank you for joining me as I take a look at the weekend forecast. We still have a front lingering across the UK at the moment and that's going to stay there for a little while yet, but it's important to have a look at what's happening out in the Atlantic. We currently have two hurricanes, Margot, which may influence our weather a little bit, but it's Lee, which is going to track its way northwards, making landfall around Maine, Nova Scotia sometime into the weekend. It will then lose its hurricane status before tracking east eastwards across the Atlantic on a strong jet stream. This is one possibility, the Met Office model, bit of uncertainty as to exactly what it's going to do, but there is the potential that it could bring some wet and windy weather to our shores by the middle part of next week. Back to the here and now though, and you can still see that front lingering across more northern parts of the UK as we go into Friday. And that will bring some rain, but it also forms the boundary between cooler air towards the north and something warm and humid towards the south. Taking a look at Saturday morning then, under this front we are going to see some further wet weather. After a wet day for southern Scotland on Friday there will be some further rain here for a time, but the front is starting to break up, so staying quite cloudy with outbreaks of rain, but turning a little bit drier as we go into the afternoon. Across northern parts we'll have quite a good deal of sunshine around, whereas further south it will be sunny to start off with once any mist and fog clears away, then perhaps a bit more cloud building and also a few showers. Temperatures in the south will be peaking on Saturday, highs around 27 Celsius. Further north, where you're stuck under this front, it is going to be notably cooler and also quite cool because we're in that colder air mass that I showed you earlier across parts of Scotland. As we go into Sunday and that front that's been across the UK for such a long period of time will eventually break up. And then across northern areas we'll be under the influence of this area of high, but we are still going to drag in some warm air from the south and that could be pretty unstable. So if we look at the details for Sunday and you can see heavy thundery rain pushing up from the south, initially across southwest England, but then spreading into more central parts across Wales, Northern Ireland, and then later Northern England too. Also a few showers possible across across parts of Scotland. Now because of the uh, early brightness that some northern parts of England and perhaps southern Scotland will have, temperatures here may be a touch higher than on Saturday. And, but in the south, although there is still some warm humid air with a bit more cloud around perhaps, temperatures will be at that little bit lower. Do watch out for these heavy thunderstorms though. I'm not expecting hail and lightning to be quite as much of an issue as the intense downpours with perhaps 30 to 60 millimeters of rain possible in just a few hours, mostly towards towards the southwest. Worth bearing in mind though, these thunderstorms perhaps not as frequent or as intense as the ones we saw last weekend. Heading into next week, and there will still be some further showers around at least to start before then, likely to see low pressure due to those hurricanes I mentioned at the start, bringing some autumnal unsettled weather by the middle part of the next week, and it is going to be turning cooler too. It is worth keeping up to date with the forecast. Like I said, there could be a few warnings issued for the thunderstorms this weekend. I'll see you later.